June 6th, the Second Front. An army of liberation had landed in France. And to the people of New Caledonia, this news had special import. For France, home of freedom, home of La Marseillaise, was their home, too. Sons of New Caledonia were there in France helping make the fight against Hitler which betrayal had prevented them from making four years before. Typical were the thoughts of this French officer. Like anybody else, I have a lot of relatives in France and uh, my thoughts are with them all the time. To get a straight idea of uh, how this island feels, you have to realize that New Caledonia among the French colonies was one of the first to join General de Gaulle. A lot of boys from this island already have shown what they were able to do in North Africa. They've been tops in Libya, tops in Birakem, and take my word, they'll be tops in the Battle of France tomorrow. Well, any, any relatives in France or any, any friends there that... Um... Oh yes, lots of them. Yes, these people worried about their relatives, naturally, but even more about their country. The day after the invasion, most people went to church to pray. Some laughed. Some cried. And all were eager for news, leaned to the Americans for information. Housewives wanted to know. In the schools, history was taught while it was being made. Discussions took place in the streets. The New Caledonians were soldiers, veterans in this war for freedom. In 1940, they revolted against Vichy, threw out their pro-Nazi governor. They had no arms, only a strong belief in the France of Voltaire and Victor Hugo. A belief in the words liberty, equality, fraternity. With peoples like these fighting with the armies of liberation everywhere, fascism is finished. Yeah.